Let's take your calls, 888-ASK-ANK. Jason first in Arkansas, now listening on Sirius XM 131. Hi, Jason. Hello, Hank. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Um, I want to thank you for your program and thank you for taking my call. I'm praying for your healing. Um, thank you. I've been having a debate here in the last few days with some friends in a, in a different denomination as I uh, over the, the water baptism necessity and salvation. Um, of course, I know John the Baptist was doing a, a water baptism for repentance, but Jesus came to institute a baptism of spirit. And I just wanted to hear your commentary on the, um, I, I guess, the difference uh, between the two and when when you view salvation to occur, because uh, those I was debating with, of course, do not think that, that a spirit comes upon you until water has, has been on your body. So uh, I guess I will leave that with you to to listen. Yeah, there may be a difference between a chronological and a biblical answer to that question. Uh, the chronology and 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 the biblical answer may be may, may be different. In other words, if you look at how it is logically laid out in Scripture, I think the latter thing you said has merit. Uh, but chronologically, it may well be, and I certainly will testify to this in my own life, that I believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and I was saved, and then I was baptized, in order. Uh, to to join the community of faith, to take up my cross and daily follow Jesus Christ. So in the Old Testament, uh, going to the specifics of your question, a baptism was pictured by the passage of uh, the, 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 the children of God uh, with Moses through the Red Sea. And, 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 and this is taking the magnifying glass and putting it in the hands of the Apostle Paul as he shines light back on what happened in the Old Testament in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And then John the Baptist, the last prophet of the Old Covenant, baptized in water for repentance. And we see that in various places, Mark 1, Acts chapter 19. And, and Jesus himself received the baptism of John and, and in that way, he did something transformative. He changed baptism itself. So there's a s distinction in the new covenant where baptism is the means by which we enter into the kingdom of God and we're joined to Christ and we're granted the remission of our sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. So there are a number of points that that need to be emphasized. When we are baptized, we, we, we are doing two things. We're, we're being buried to our old life. We're being raised to newness of life through his resurrection power, as Paul says in Romans chapter 6. We're, we're then taking up our cross and we're daily following Jesus Christ, which is to say we're not doing it in isolation. We're doing it in community and we pick up our cross. I mean, it's one of the things we do in orthodoxy is we... Uh, there, there's a particular prostration where you touch the floor uh, with your hand, and it's symbolic of picking up the cross and, 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 and daily following Jesus Christ. And, and, and the, making the sign of the cross is also emblematic of, I am no longer ashamed of the cross. I know the cross is an offense. I'm not going to add to the offense by the way I communicate the cross. I know it's an offense. But I am taking up that offense. So I'm visibly going to wear the cross. I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to visibly wear the cross. I'm going to visibly make the sign of the cross. I'm going to visibly identify myself with Christ. And of course, uh, the consequence of that in the early Christian church was draconian. Uh, it often meant being ripped apart by animals uh, or, or even worse. Uh, we also, I think, need to recognize that the second death of baptism is, is, is a continual dying to sin. Uh, we, we daily walk in newness of life. So this is a, a transformational, a rather than a transactional kind of thing. And, and 
being raised to new life is, is, is to be raised to union with God. And, and, and I think that's, again, an often missed part of the equation, which means that the port of salvation, as Vladimir Vlosky said, uh, said, the port of salvation is not the goal. It is that the shipwrecked continue on to the purpose set before them, the ultimate purpose being uh, union with God. Uh, that's what we were created for, fellowship in the Trinity, as has been well said. So baptism, uh, you, you know, whether it comes chronologically after you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and are saved, uh, uh, may be r real uh, in our experience, but in terms of the logic of the Bible, the entrance into the community of faith is at the time of being baptized. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. You got it.